so we are pretty much in July, Sony will introduce the latest APS-C camera, the Sony A6700. The next recent updates have revealed details about the impending Sony A6700, including leaked information about its announcement date and price. In this video, we'll go through all the recent upgrades around the Sony A6700 and try to determine what the newer model will have to offer in contrast to the Sony A6600. Well, in terms of specifications, there are several notable differences between the Sony A6600 and the upcoming Sony A6700. The A6700 will feature a higher resolution sensor with 26.1 megapixel APS-C BSI CMOS compared to A6600's 24.2 megapixel. This will result in better image quality, especially in low light conditions. Moreover, the A6700 is equipped with the more advanced Bionz XR processor, surpassing the A6600 Bionz X, which means overall performance will be boosted. Both cameras will share a 425-point phase detection autofocus system, but the A6700 will take it a step further by including 4.5 contract detection points for improved focus accuracy. Another notable upgrade in the A6700 is the addition of animal autofocus to the real-time tracking autofocus system with eye autofocus, which will offer enhanced subject tracking capabilities. Now, when it comes to video capabilities, the A6700 will outshine its predecessor because it'll support UHD 4K video at up to 60fps, while the A6600 tops out at 30fps. This higher frame rate will enable smoother and more detailed video recordings. The Sony A6700 will include features like S-Syn Tone and S-Log3, enabling users to customize and perfect their video footage with various color grading options. These options allow for precise adjustments to achieve the desired visual aesthetic. Additionally, the A6700 is anticipated to support 4x2x2, 10-bit internal recording, providing improved color fidelity and richer detail in video recordings. The photography department will also see some improvements, but honestly with the crop sensor nobody really focuses on photography that much. Both cameras will feature 5-axis image stabilization, ensuring steady shots even in challenging shooting conditions. If the mechanical and electronic shutter speed is improved, a6700 will be a blast to use in certain face-based scenarios. In terms of the electronic viewfinder, the A6700 will have an upgraded 3.69M Auto LED TrueFinder EVF, providing a higher resolution compared to A6600's 2.36M Dot EVF. Both models will offer 100 viewfinder coverage, but the A6600 has a slightly higher magnification at 0.70x, while the A6700 will offer 0.69x. Practically you won't notice a thing here. And when it comes to physical attributes, the A6700 will be a slightly smaller and lighter body, weighing 450 grams approximately, compared to the A6600's 503 grams. So, handling the A6700 will be a bit easier. All the sources from indicating that, Sony will announce the A6700 on the 12th of July 2023, and the price of the A6700 will start at $1,800, which is higher compared to the A6600 starting price of $1,499. Now, Considering the three years of delay, the current inflation rate, and higher end specs, definitely justify this hike. What are your thoughts? Share your opinions in the comments area below, and please consider subscribing for more contents like this. Thank you for watching.